Hey everyone, we are here at RSA and I am standing with Russ Moore who is our security expert here at Mobile Iron. And 5G has been the hottest topic here at RSA, so I wanted to take this opportunity to chat with him and get a better understanding of some of the things that enterprises are seeing, what should we watch out for, so let's just start with that piece. With 5G, what are some of the security issues that we should be watching out for? Uh, well, great question. Um, there's more than a few of them. So okay. let's start out with uh, Black Hat last year. A mm -hmm. bunch of vulnerabilities were, were published at Black Hat. And then later in the year, we saw uh, some students from the University of Iowa and Purdue mm -hmm. build a tool that's called 5G Reasoner. Okay. And with that tool, they actually found 11 vulnerabilities in the 5G network, right. as well as some in the 4G network. Um, and some of those vulnerabilities are pretty serious, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of them allows you to hijack the paging channel, so, hey, broadcast your own Amber Alert. Um, others allow you to track the location of a person, uh, launch a man in the middle attack, even launch a replay attack where I could run up your phone bill. Right. Um, so that's, all these are coming up, and yeah. I mean, this is pretty, it's pretty serious, and we should definitely be paying attention to it. Uh, I think that we should be. Right. And it's not just vulnerabilities in the protocol. Uh, so one thing that we're seeing is when the 5G network is up to 20 gigs download speed, mm -hmm. way faster than the network that you have when you go to work, like right. when you connect to your Wi-Fi, we're gonna see user behavior is gonna change a lot. Right. And those users aren't gonna connect to a network that's slower. Oh, that so okay. what we're gonna see is a lot of users are actually using the 5G network to do their day-to-day -day work, right. especially because they're not connecting to services that sit behind your firewall. They're okay. actually using Office 365 or Workday right. or G Suite apps like that, so most that's how they do most of their work on their devices today. They never need to get on the corporate network anymore. Right. So we need to look at the behavior changes that are going to happen. And we also need to understand, we're not quite sure we can trust these 5G networks Absolutely. yet. Absolutely. Um, one of the reasons why we can't trust them uh, is because of an issue called supply chain trust, okay. um, which the US government is very concerned about right now. Uh, so the people that make the 5G infrastructure and sell it to our carriers, mm -hmm. um, some of them are European companies like Ericsson and Nokia, but there's other Chinese companies that aren't quite as trusted right now, uh, like ZTE and especially Huawei. Yes. And the U.S. I've government been is about that a lot. That's right, and the U.S. government has alleged that actually Huawei has been listening to traffic since about 2009 by leveraging the lawful intercept interface. It's what the FBI uses to subpoena you when they want to like find out who right. you've been talking to or listen in. So uh, those are some of the allegations. So. We're not quite sure that we can trust these networks. They don't sit behind our firewall anymore. And so it seems to me that we might not need to start thinking about how we're gonna to adopt to these new environments. Right, so are there any top tips and different things that you would be suggesting for enterprises? So if you could say, here's some three things that you feel like they should really be paying attention to just to even start understanding what's happening, what they can do to prepare for it, what would you say? Uh, so, well, there's a couple of things they can start doing today. Like, the, you know, hey, look, let's encrypt when we can, right? So right. data in motion, it's important to encrypt that. Okay. But I think really the most important thing is they've got to shift the security mindset um, if they want to protect assets in the 5G world. Okay. So that means like, we need to sort of step away from the firewall. Okay. Um, that technology, you know, is 25 years old now. Right. Um, it protects a walled garden, a network that you know sits behind uh, a firewall, assumes that you can control the network. Well, we don't have that control anymore. We don't right. own that network, so we need to adopt how we uh, how we approach this. And the best methodology that I've seen for, so far has been zero trust. Okay, well, that's obviously a familiar topic for us. Yeah. So this is a term that was coined by Forrester in 2010, mm -hmm. and it essentially means that. You never trust and you always verify. Right. So if I think about that in the context of an enterprise mm -hmm. um, that has lots of devices on a 5G network and I know I can't trust that network anymore, I want to make sure that I can trust the device. Okay. That means that I need to uh, check to make sure the device isn't rooted or jailbroken, okay. is running the latest versions of the OS that don't have any known vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we're checking for uh, phishing attacks man in the middle of attacks, uh, malware on the device. Um, all of these points of, uh, of interest can be consumed by a policy engine and we can decide, and we should do this very often, every hour or so, 
whether we trust this device uh, anymore. Mm -hmm. And we also need to take an action. So if we, if we look at the device and we say, we don't trust you anymore, we can either let the admin and maybe the end user know, yeah, right. but we might also want to say, you know what, we want to block you from getting into important services. Mm -hmm. um, stuff that resides behind the firewall, sure, but modern work is in the cloud now, so we might want to block you from accessing Office 365, right. um, or Concur, or Slack. Mm -hmm. right. So um, that's something we can do. And then, of course, if we're really concerned with the state of that device, hey, if it's a company-owned device, we can just wipe it. But if it's a personally-owned device, we can just surg uh, surgically go in and remove the enterprise content from the device. And when we trust you again, we can actually we reapply that. And there's right. one more thing that we should think about. Okay. Um, the most important asset um, on, on the enterprise network and that a user has is a username and password. Yes. And we really need to move away from usernames and passwords. Yes. So uh, you should leverage a technology that uses certificates and single sign-on. Mm -hmm. We call that zero sign-on at Mobile Iron. That's right. And make sure that the assets that cause the most breaches, mm -hmm. which is username and password, Absolutely. those aren't susceptible. And that also frees you up from some of the worries you might have around phishing where right. Right, the, the main reason that they're phishing is because they want to get your credentials. Right, exactly. Well. At Mobile Iron, we are definitely team kill the password. I'm sure you have seen all of that on social. We've been talking that on about blogs. And so if you would like any more information about 5G and everything that Russ has talked about, you definitely should check out all the blogs that we have on mobileiron.com. And we will definitely have some more videos for you guys. And we're excited for you just to figure out what you need to do to be prepared for 5G.